Hello guys, welcome to next lesson for this series. In this lesson, we are going to install Nodmon, which will help us to avoid restarting our server anytime we make changes to our server and also refactor our MongoDB connection function so that we have a clean server.js file. Okay, we don't want to mess up the file with so many code here. So let's get started. So next, let's go to our terminal and then let me cancel it and then install a package called yarn add nodmon. I'm using yarn dash dash dev. Okay, if you are using npm, npm i, since this one is a dependencies, okay, a package, you are going to make use of dev, a development package. Hit enter. And while we are waiting for it, we have to configure our package or JSON file to be able to run our node mod. Okay, so go back to the file and go to your package.json file, right? And for the script, delete whatever you see here, and then let's start something. So Type in server, that will be the key, and then I'm going to run nodmon, and you have to move to package the folder where we have our server, backend slash server.js. Save it, and let's go to our terminal, and then run it, so npm run server. Okay, good. Now, Nodmon is monitoring any changes you make to our file without quitting and restarting our server until you make changes to our server. Good. So next is, let's try to refactor the function of our package, sorry, our DB connect function. So inside your backend folder, let's create a file, a folder, sorry, called config. And this is a configuration file, which is not part of our, of our code. Right, for example, DB Connect. So we'll create a file called DB Connect.js. And I'm going to make use of Mongoose. So let's import Mongoose, which is equal to require Mongoose as that. And let's create a function called cons DB Connect equal to every function. And go back to our, your server, the JS file, and then let's cut from line 6 to line 17, the function for connecting our MongoDB. We want to move to its own file. Sorry. So let me copy from here, and then let me cut. And then go to your server db connect file and then paste it okay so what you're doing is that you create a function and then paste our code the function is called db connect okay so this function does not accept any argument what is doing is to run this function this file so we have to make this file being accessible to any file in our, in our project so module dot export export db connect okay so let's go back to our server.js file and then require that package. So db connect. Okay. Now, since it's a function, remember, we have to call it, right? It's a function. A function which is db connect, which returns this one. Sorry, which runs, doesn't return anything, which run this function, right? So since a function and you have an instance of this function like this app, and then you call it. This function we call express assigned to a variable. The same way we have a function and we assign to a variable, then we can call it. So let me make here db connect and then let's say db connect and then call it like that. So let's go back to our server and see. I think uh, let's restart good. You see db connect, right? And also, we have a different way of calling this function. 
and that is what I'm gonna use instead of requiring this function requiring this uh, file and then call it we can call it like this okay so let me delete all the files here so we just require the file which is inside config and then db connect and this is a function in javascript we call something ify that is immediately invoke function so i can call this function by attaching with two brackets like that so it means that i have called this function automatically right so in the same way as i did so whatever version you want as you can see db connected so guys so to go over again we create a file called db sorry a folder called config and we create one file called db connect and in there we created a function called db connect and then we paste our connection function that we did previously inside we export it and then we use it inside our server.json file and you call it automatically like that or you can go by another option by assign to a variable and then call it anyway it's your choice so this is how we refactor our application and then install notmon to restart our application anytime we make changes to our server so in the next lesson we will start creating our model and then start registering users Thanks for watching.